I'm Coulter Stewart. I'm with Riley Smith and Jonathan Durka. We are on Lake Huron in the tip of the thumb in Michigan, and we're gonna go look for some walleyes. Can you tell me where we're gonna go? We're gonna do a shipwreck dive today. It's 35 feet of water. Lake Huron doesn't have a ton of structure, so whenever you can find structure, it's always a good idea to go check it out and see if it's holding some fish. So that's what we're gonna do today. Perfect. Uh, can you tell me about the shipwreck that we're going to? Yeah, it's like in, I wanna say 1909. It was built in Bay City. Uh, the name's Chickamauga, kind of fun to say. It was carrying limestone, it's all wooden. It's splayed out on the bottom, meaning there's not much of the boat structure left. It's mostly just like the hull, big beams, big boards. It sticks up about mm, five, six foot off the bottom. So a lot of nooks and crannies for those fish to hide in. The Chickamauga is about a mile offshore. Riley drops the anchor and we get in the water. The legal limit for walleye is 15 inches and above, and you can take five a day. Jonathan and Riley are some of the best spear fishermen in the state of Michigan. It's impressive to see them 35 feet underwater, calm, taking their time, and hunting. Nice fish, the Great Lakes, called a bourbon. They're also known as the old pal or man lobster. As a real nice, healthy specimen, he is down at the Chickamauga, relaxing. There's not much known about these fish. They go out deep in the summer and they come up shallow in the winter. The Great Lakes, you know, the largest body of fresh water in North America. There's pretty cool stuff on there. Go check it out. And it becomes your playground once you get into spearfishing. It's a whole new frontier, man. You know, it's the most unexplored place in Michigan. Whether you don't know the species or you don't know the size, you know, as I've always said, if you don't know, let it go. If any doubt, just let it go. That's all you have to do. You do nothing and you'll be great. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> easy enough to remember. So do nothing if you don't know. Yeah. Riley spots a fish hiding in the shipwreck with a lure stuck in its mouth. He tells Jonathan, who swims down, to take the shot. Well, a long way. You steered him like a hot dog. Yeah. yeah. Hey, cut yeah. that shaft off, and we'll throw him over the fire. Yeah, look at that. You got a, look at that too, for you get a lure. <laughs> you get the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Riley sees a walleye and tells me to take a breath and follow him to the bottom. Once I shoot, I head to the surface. I'm at the limit of how long I can hold my breath. Riley grabs the fish and brings it up to make sure it doesn't get off the spear. Look at that! We got a pretty decent walleye that was sitting on the bottom of the lake. Hunting underwater demands skill, but also an understanding of fish behavior, the environment, and your own limits. Not every shot is successful, but the ones that are reveal our ability to immerse ourselves in new environments and learn how to read signs, embrace the rhythms of nature, and be successful while not forgetting that we are also a part of the natural world. After a successful day, we pose for pictures, clean the fish, and meet professional chef Molly Mitchell, who teaches us how she prepares walleye. We're going to saute up these beautiful little turnips. If you give them a really nice, hard sear, they are so delicious, especially with fish, and they have like a little bit more of a meaty flavor to them. So, oh, they're really good raw too. So I'm gonna check on my fish. A nice little knob of butter, some of this Calabrian chili. It really adds so much. 
and then we're just gonna kind of swirl this into a little thaw. That's going to coat the fish. Put our turnips right in with a little bit of this lemon and a nice amount of salt and some olive oil. And we're gonna let these saute. While that is going, I'm going to slice up these ramps that I have, which I just simply grilled and a little bit of herbs to go on top. I've got some beautiful cilantro that we're gonna use. It is gonna be a real fancy beach meal. All right, guys, here we go. Thank you very much. This is by far the best looking walleye I've ever seen. And it tastes about as good as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more recipes from Molly, you can find her on Instagram at The Flowering Hearth. Jonathan, how do people find out what you're doing in spearfishing? You can check us out at michigan spearfishassociation.com. We'll see you next time on Midwest Outdoors.